How you doing? My name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. One of the most asked questions that I get is can it grill? How does it grill? Well today we're going to grill us up a steak. Look, my name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and we got a lot to cover. First off, I want to thank my uh, buddy Kevin over at Comparison Cooking, who sent me this steak. Check out his channel. He does a lot of good things. I'll leave a link up above and a link down below. Also, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get all my uh, notifications for my uploads, right? That's very important to the show. Now look, we got that one and a half inch ribeye. We're going with a, a base salt and pepper, right? Kosher salt and pepper or rub. And uh, we got our grill set up to 700 degrees, but we're gonna get there slow. I wanna bring that temp up inside the meat uh, slowly, right? So I'll start it off at seven and we'll get there in about um, maybe five, 10 minutes. Just looking to raise the inner temperature of the uh, beef. And basically what I do here is I uh, put the uh, steak in, shut it, and uh, leave it there for seven minutes. From there, what I'll do is I'll turn it, quarter turn it in the middle of the uh, seven minutes. Then after the seven minutes, I'll flip it and uh, close it for another five, and then I'll just start working the uh, just start working the steak old school, just like we did on the uh, Weber kettle. And now I understand I got my grates on smoke. I do that on purpose. I like the uh, pointedness of the uh, of the grates that way. I'm not really crazy of the uh, other one. They're just uh, too flat. So I just leave it on smoke. I really don't think it makes too much of a difference. So basically what I'm doing is just kind of moving the steak around to hotter parts of the grill, shutting the lid for 20, 30 seconds, opening it and moving it again, right? I do have my uh, quick read thermometer and took her right up to about 130 Fahrenheit. And look, the whole cook took about maybe 15 to 17 minutes. I mean, this grill, this pit handled grilling as well as it does smoking. And now also I do put a little butter on the top of that steak, of course. Nothing like a little butter flavor. And again, if not mentioned, I used a Weber, a chimney, a starter of a charcoal, a fuel, and nothing more than that, okay? I wanted to uh, see if I could do a, uh, a quick 20-minute grill on a, uh, on a Weber uh, chimney, uh, chimney starter filled with uh, charcoal, and it handled it well. It got up to temperature pretty fast, and uh, you can see the results right here. Man, oh man, that's cooked just about perfect for me and perfect for the wife, right? Look, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get all my future uploads, of course. And I'm just gonna kind of let this uh, run as I uh, plate it up, right? That's my... Uh, that's my wife getting her uh, more of her medium steak while I uh, while I take the rare, of course, the uh, medium rare, I should say. This is good stuff. All right, look, I'm going to close out on this video. This was a quickie. This grill handles grilling uh, perfectly. And if you like this master build video, I'm going to drop a couple links here. Check those out, and we will see you soon.